Hey guys, it's JQ Crafty. Welcome to another Tuesdays in the Attic. We are on week 30 of the Dusty Attic sketches. You would have seen the sketch just um, a minute ago, and I will actually have it up in the right hand corner while I'm scrapbooking as well, um, just so you can have a reference point. This one's kind of a classic, like, stripped on the middle. There's some scalloping on top and bottom, a nice photo cluster in the center. So already I, um, when I was looking at the sketch, um, like I've said before, I look and I see how many photos there are. I look to see what I have on my desk that I'm working on. I happen to have these three photos. And to me, this works just as good as the, um, as the photo cluster that they have. I'm just going to do these three photos, basically just take a, make a rectangle. Um, I would have liked to keep one of these longer, but I didn't have a fourth photo to, uh, have up top. So this works for me. So I'm going to use this. I'm going to flip it a little bit because my tall photo is facing that direction. But yeah, I grabbed these three photos, trimmed these two down so that they will fit all into this rectangle. I have to trim this one just a tiny bit. And then, so we're going to mat this a couple times all together and then we will get our strips of paper. I don't really know what collection I want to use yet. I've been playing with the Vicky Booten Storyteller and I might continue, or not Storyteller, um, one last year. <laughs> No, Storyteller, yeah, it's Color Study I haven't been playing with. Oh, Color Study would be good too. These are just fun photos of us on the boat. I'm also going to enter this for a Daddy about flair challenge, so I might try to add some flair as well. It's their one year birthday this month, so there's a huge celebration going on over on their uh, Facebook page. I will have it linked down below if you have not joined in. Challenges go until the 15th of August, so you have plenty of time. I haven't really done many of them yet, so hoping to add this one to it to get started on some challenges. Um, but yeah, so let me figure out what, uh, what I want to do for a collection and let's get started. All right. So I have here some color study. Those are the Dottie about flair that were made specifically to match color study. I was able to snag one of those sets. If you haven't, um, you can win one actually. So we have, to, like I said, I'll have the Facebook group, uh, linked down below. And so I ended up deciding to use color study. So there are my three photos, how I'm going to want them on the layout. I'm just going through the papers and stuff and trying to figure out, I don't really know what I want to do. I just know I have these three photos that I'm going to do in place of the four. So the cluster is going to be similar, but not exactly the same. I zipped through the mixed media backgrounds just to see if there's anything I liked. And I really liked the idea of using this one. Um, instead of using just plain white cardstock or a pattern paper background, because it is a layout with water. Um, my son is riding on a boat. So I really like that. And then as I flipped through the papers, I like the scallop idea. I definitely want some dark. I definitely want to use some more blue. And then I really like this pattern paper with the yellow and the grit. And I thought that would be perfect for being my main center um, thing. I just like the, the idea of it that that yellow is going to stand out on the right hand side where the title is going to be. And it's going to stand out even more because my photo um, cluster is not as, or my photo collage is not as big as the one the sketch. So if I have the grid mostly behind the photos and that yellow really standing out and that's where my title is going to be, it's really going to stand out. It's really going to draw your eye there. And then my journaling will be below is my thought. That's my thought. And that is actually ends up what happening, what happens. But, um, I flipped through the papers again and I really wasn't sure if I wanted to use the black or the blue, um, as my like scalloped edge and then I because I had this scrap of just plain black cardstock that comes in the paper pad and I decided you know what I'm just going to use that and I'll piece it together to do my edge so I went ahead and trimmed that pattern paper with the yellow and the grid to about eight inches and then I'm going to go ahead and mat my photos on this bluish purple color and then I'm going to mat them um, again on the cool black striped paper um, to bring some black because I really like this collection with pops of black. There's so many bright colors and then the pops of black really ground it. So I'm going to mat it all on the black then and then I will go ahead and put that down and 
this um, sketch has like so a scallop and then another piece of paper and then that main paper. I'm just gonna use washi tape for that like middle part. And I'm using this, um, instead of doing like a scallop punch or a notebook punch or anything, I'm using this. It's actually like a gift wrap tools.com. I don't even know if the website um, exists anymore, but um, it's to rip your paper in patterns. And I actually have this really big one for ripping wrapping paper instead of cutting it. It works amazing. And I got this one. I think I got this one free, um, but it gives it kind of like a rugged edge. And I really like that. So I did that on that scrap black piece of paper and I'm going to piece that together to make that the border on the top and the bottom of this main center piece. And then I'm gonna glue it all down. Okay, yeah, everything glued down. And then I'll stick that like aqua washi. And that's from the Jen Hadfield Reaching Out collection from this year. Um, the aqua just really matched the aqua kind of, um, it almost looks like washi tape in, in the, on that yellow right there on the edge. Um, you also saw when I was showing you the flare, I also grabbed a bunch of color cast designs, um, acrylic pieces. I'm really willing to use some of these. I ended up using two of them. So I kind of have two titles. Um, but I also liked the banner part in the title or in the sketch. So I'm using the little chipboard, like, um, hanging banner thing that I had because I'm like, this will work perfect. And then this is where it goes a little bit off kilter. So I start, um, I know I want to use this acrylic awesome. That's the top. It's kind of hard to see here. And then this other acrylic piece says summer looks like, and then below I'm going to journal. And so I dumped out all my flare because I decided I wanted to try and play with some flare as well. So I'm just picking out a handful of them that I think go really well with what I'm doing. So turquoise is turquoise, yellows, blues, that kind of thing. So I'm picking out a handful have them sitting on my desk. I'm going to go through the ephemera. I find this big um, vellum piece to say life is good with all the colors. And I really liked this gold chipboard um, piece. I don't remember what it says at the moment, but I'm going to put that right there. Um, I'm going to grab a tab that says document. I'm going to stick that in the upper left of the photos. And I really like the idea of putting some um, flare up here in the cluster where it shows on the sketch. And then maybe layering them behind another piece of ephemera. Now I liked this circle piece of ephemera, but I didn't like that it said yes, please. And something about just so many, there's too many words. There's too many words. I got words on the bottom and I have two titles. There's words kind of in the mixed media. I was like, that's a lot of words. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cover it up with another circle piece of ephemera. And then I also grabbed the other two um, banner pieces um, of ephemera that were in there because I, my thought was, you know what, let's use them up. I like the idea of having multiple um, layered banners kind of hanging out over here. So let's do it. And I really like the way that turned out. So yep, I found that circle piece and it's going to map perfectly over that. Yes, please. So then it just looks like a circle, um, pie chart. I kind of probably could have done something else with it, but I really like it just the way it is. And then I get everything glued down off camera and now I'm just going to journal under here. And that is it, you guys. So I glued down a couple um, flare behind that circle piece up on the upper right. And then I got some clusters of flare down by the left, using some flare, getting some acrylic used, using some color study. And it turned out in my mind, looks like the sketch but doesn't look identical to the sketch and i really really like it i hope you guys enjoyed please make sure you comment if you have any questions or um if, if you liked anything give a thumbs up if you like the video and subscribe if you haven't already i would really appreciate i appreciate all my subscribers and we'll see you next time bye <laughs>